Hello, my name is Katherine Stahl. I use she, her pronouns, and I am the director of the Yakima River Adventure. So the process for this show began when I was on a boat in a park in 2017. And from there, it was engaging with uh, different audiences in Michigan as I continued to work with individuals um, who were neurodivergent. And through then, uh, I partnered a lot with my nephew uh, who I have dedicated the show to, and through working with my nephew, looking at what are some of his likes and dislikes, I've had an opportunity to take this idea as I've traveled to work in New York with a theater company, uh, in the UK with Oily Cart Theater, and then we worked on it in a class here in 2021 and developed it for a quick, like, hey, here's what we're learning about. How can we do more of a a showcase about what we have learned about sensory theater. Then in 2023, we were able to remount it in a creative dramatics class for a young audience. And so we were able to put it on its feet and make it an immersive environment in a couple of different classrooms. And then from there, because Central wanted to focus on new works, new play development, and was excited that their students had been learning about another form of drama, of theater, we put it as part of our season and put more resources towards it, which was amazing. And so now we're able to connect to part of our community that doesn't always get to feel welcome or safe in our spaces. I was inspired to devise a piece uh, around the Yakima River Adventure after talking to quite a few of my colleagues. Originally, this piece was all about um, a boat that I was really excited to play on at a park in Chicago. Uh, and I had been working in sensory theater or learning how to use theater for social skills for neurodivergent audiences. And so I was like, how could I combine this idea of loving this ride on a boat with getting to go through a story while being on a boat? And then I happened to come back to the Washington area around that time that we were coming up with these ideas and in conversations with my colleagues, they said, why don't you make it about the Yakima River Canyon since you're now in Ellensburg. And so getting to make it about somewhere that is now the new home of this chapter of my life was really exciting to get to combine the research from when I was in grad school to what I am doing today. When you think about sensory friendly theater, that means that they're taking a piece that has already been developed and they are adapting it uh, in ways that are going to be more accessible for neurodivergent or sensory seeking or sensory avoidant audiences. So this idea with River Adventure is that we are developing this piece primarily for those audiences who are more sensory seeking, sensory avoidant, right? Um, when I speak about neurodivergence, a lot of my work has been in working with um, individuals with autism. And so that is where I have come from the sensory background. So this piece has been developed specifically for an audience that doesn't always get invited to the theater. That if you come into the theatrical space, it's typically a, the audience sits here and you can only be this loud, and you can't ask the questions that you have in the moment, and you can't get up and you can't follow your impulses. And those are things that are really hard. That's an entire list of can'ts. I am so excited about this experience, and I really hope that when others come and get to either be in the boat, or they get to walk alongside their participant on the boat, or they even view, right? They come and take in the general audience idea to see what it's like. I hope that people take away a sense of exploration, a sense of play, a sense of finding ways to be inclusive, a way of thinking outside of the box, a way of getting to use your senses more to explore and relying less on our, our devices to have to do things for us. What is it to go outside and touch the grass with my feet, with my fingers, rather than just having to research what that is via some sort of electronic something. So I really want people to get to leave with this idea that you are allowed to explore and play.
Hello, I'm KB. I use any pronouns, and I'm playing the head ranger. And I'm Neo. Um, I use they, he pronouns, and I'm playing the ranger in training. In 2021, I was in the devising class here where we worked on a very early version of this show uh, that was more of a showcase for other theater majors and such. And it was a lot of fun. It started with a lot of play and kind of consolidating that into specific moments. Um, and then in 2023, we worked more on that for like actual small children, kind of built more on that. And now I'm here. So it's been really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I joined um, in the 2023 classroom of creative drama. And that was really just taking something that we had like the bones for and turning it really into this like kind of narrative experience like we got to take people through like a cave and we did a puppet show and we built boats like out of paper and we colored on them and it was just really special to see like all the kids like come together and enjoy something and it was the first time i had ever like actually seen the participants be engaged with the art versus just watching it and it was like Oh, it's so cool. It was so cool. Since I'm the head ranger, we have, there's the head ranger and then there's the river guides. And the river guides go along with the participants in five different boats. Uh, and I'm kind of leading the whole thing. Um, so while the river guides are more one-on-one -on -one with the participants, uh, I'm kind of making sure that everything everyone's accounted for that's that's a big part of what i do yeah we're um we kind of just facilitate the experience um it's we don't like interfere so much but we guide kind of the experience and then we go around and we check in to make sure everybody is getting everything that they want out of the experience um and, and keeping it moving we keep it moving we're on we're on a journey down the river <laughs> In the show, a group of junior rangers get to float down the Yakima River Canyon and explore the environment around them with different plants and different animals. And we get to meet some otters and some beavers and a lot of friends. It's really fun. Uh, and we help the otters find their rock. We explore. We keep the canyon beautiful. And it's it's just it's so nice <laughs> yeah i was gonna say it's it's almost kind of difficult to explain it as a story because like with my working on it i feel like it's more of an experience like it's hard to like put a narrative on it only because the participants like they get to kind of choose what they want to do so like saying like it's like a complete story is sometimes difficult because one person might just want to hang out in one area and do the same thing over and over again so it's at its bare bones, it's about a group of junior rangers earning their badges and going down a river, but it's that looks different to every single participant. So, one of the people and groups who have been super helpful um, is Keen, uh, the Kittitas Environmental Education Network. Um, they've come in and shown us and a answered all of our questions about the wildlife like the plants and the animals like what things we can find and really making sure that it's authentic to um the yakima river canyon we've also reached out to michelle williams of the parent to parent group yes. in ellensburg here and we have also been collaborating with a lot of the education professors here at central washington university to ensure that the things that we're doing are effective in engaging the participants I think people should come and see the show because it's such an experience and it's a place where so many people who may not feel like they're often invited mm -hmm. into theater spaces can explore and have fun and have just a wonderful time and be encouraged to play, be encouraged to touch things and to listen to things and to have stuff to see. And it's just... It's beautiful. It really is. I love it. And yeah. I think everyone else will too. Yeah. I mean, it, what other opportunity do you have to really be immersed in theater? Like a lot of times we sit and we watch and like that can be immersive, but the idea of like 
walking through the space. It, it's, it's so good. And while like the more general audience days aren't as sensory, I think it's equally as important to see the work that we're doing and to support the work that we're doing to make it possible for us to continue to keep doing this in the future.